trying to get the bye. One at the bottom, trying to avoid elimination. And here we go. Noble Prodigy will get it first, and he'll take over at the 31. The rookie try to qualify underneath the Rams for the club championship. Didn't make it to Orlando. Ninth in the MCS. He's won $22,000 this year, and this is just his second live event. Yeah, neither one of these guys able to get some momentum and win themselves a club championship and represent an NFL team this year. However, they both had a lot of success at the Madden Challenge. They both went 3-0 in their groups, getting, winning their divisions and getting first-round buys in that Madden Challenge event where Prodigy eventually lost to Drini. They both ended up falling to Drini in that event. Prodigy in the semifinals and Kiv in the finals. But we know Prodigy's in that West Coast offense. What defense is Kiv running this game? Kiv stays in that New England Patriots defensive playbook. It's a lot of 3-3-5 three, three, odd. That's the only place you'll find that hybrid defense. You can also run a four-man front out of that if, if need be. Rarely seen it used, though. He throws a pick! And it's going to be for six if Collins can get on his horse. And he will. Touchdown, Kev. Ouch. Ouch is the word, Scott. You're in a big game trying to turn your season around, going up against the young Kiva. And you start off with a pick six. That is not where you want to be if you're noble prodigy. 7-0 already. You can't give these top tier players, and let's be honest, all 16 of our competitors here in the Ultimate League are fantastic, but there's a few guys that are in that top tier, and you can't spot them points. Yeah, Kim's one of those guys. He's made six plus live events over the last several years. He's got a ton of experience, even at the young age of 20 years old. Good job standing right back in the pocket and throwing a strike to Julio Jones. It's a good way to shake off after throwing a pick. Yeah, you learn a lot about yourself, how you respond to mistakes like that early one prodigy made on that pick six. Matt. He's able to have a short memory. Richardson, I'm not sure he didn't click on and step in front of that. Boy, we're heating up here in the Ultimate League. Give four and two. Prodigy two and four. Kib trying to tie Skimbo, who's at the top of his division. And we're about to get back into that round, back into that mode where you're going to be playing those guys in your division for the second time. This is the last time of the cross divisionals. Yeah, every game after this is, is a divisional matchup. That's where it's going to get really close because. The top player from each one of those divisions is going to get that bye. Like you said, Kiv currently 4-2 and two with Skim at 5-2. and two. Kiv trying to tie it up at the top of that division, put himself in position to get that bye. Can you imagine last game of the season we got Kiv Skimbo? <laughs> and that's the win to get in game for the bye. Oh, well, Kiv got him earlier on the right side of your screen. We didn't mean to be rude. It's blocking Stevie J. And Stevie's worked his way down to the 18 on Blocky. Stevie J currently two and four. Blocky four and two. Blocky's at the top of Division A currently. Blocky also on a two-game losing streak this season. Started off at four and oh, won some close ones. Now needs to get himself some momentum. Without looking at the sheet, if I I'll ask you here in a second. Kick is up and it is good. We got a touchdown on the left. So Prodigy coming back and answering the bell. That's big. That's what you want to see if you're Prodigy. Like I said, you learn a lot about yourself. You throw the pick six on your opening drive against a top player like Kiv. It's easy to get down in the dumps. Start trying to give up early. No, not Prodigy. Responds with a big prolific drive and a touchdown. So now Kiv will get the ball for the first time. Able to shake a defender. Still on his feet. Somebody might have came off the bench there and made the tackle. That looked, that looked wacky. Let's take a look at 
this touchdown pass again for Prodigy. Oh, man. Just left the safeties. Uh, I don't know if you can look defenders off in Madden, but right there, both those defenders biting on that crossing route, and Prodigy lets it rip up the seam. So first and 10 at the 39. Gonna go into the bunch. That pistol little formation Skimbo started against blocking. Testing those aggressive lines. And Jones able to get in there for a sack second and 18. Kiv scored first on a pick six. This is his first offensive possession. Wentz in the flats and Bo. Down to the 41, that'll be a third and 12. You see Bo, that out of position right tackle. Bo lines up at the tight end right there. That's where you'll see him primarily used by young Kiv. It's a good tight end too. You get the ball in his hands. He's got the speed, the trucking, the spin moves. Very elusive guy in the open field. Wentz. Finds Tyreek. And Hill will pick up the first down at the 25. And if you're running this West Coast gun punch like Kim's running right now, you got to be willing to check down and take that underneath stuff when it's given to you. I mean, how many drag routes have we seen these guys throw? And a lot of people, they don't want to make a living like that. They want to get it all in one play. When you're playing at this level, you got to be prolific. All of our competitors, very patient. You know, in Madden 18, you got to really put a drive together to be successful. Even after a big sack, they don't hang their head. Locked back in and trying to move the football. Scary pass there to Grant. Yeah, maybe falling in love with that drag route a little too much. Goes right into traffic. Prodigy is an Eagles fan, rocking those Eagles uniforms. Kiv, obviously a Seattle Seahawks fan. Lost, lost in the finals of their club championship two years in a row. Killer Mike. So, CBJ on the right after a turnover and downs on, for Blocky. He's going to have it at the 13. Already leading by three. CBJ has the opportunity to go up two possessions with a touchdown. And over on the left side, we got first to goal at the seven. Seven to seven. Between Prodigy and Kiv. Pitch play. Stevie's got a lane. Touchdown, Stevie J. Little hurdle swag into the end zone. Stevie's showing up against Rocky. Now Stevie wasn't feeling well last week. He still says it's affecting him a little bit this week. Doesn't seem to affect them on the field. 10-0 over there. So that's the end of the quarter on the left side. We still have 219. Here between Blocky and Stevie. Usually those Stevie G games, they go. The quarters go by like that because he really likes to run the football. But he's been on a short field both times. Yeah, Stevie games, the complete opposite of those skimbo kiv. Has it like to pass the ball all over the yard. It's incomplete pass is always stopping the clock, but when you run the ball, the clock's going to continue to move. Blocky trailing by 10. Started the season 4-0, but he's lost his last two. And, and you want to steer the ship if you're Blocky. Towards the end of the season, that's not the time you want to slow down. This is when you're going to have to play some of your most important Madden football the entire year. And Now's the time to really start to get hot. Yeah, I talked about the two games that Blocky had lost in a row. Stevie's coming in on a three-game losing streak. He started the season two and one. Competition stiff here in the Ultimate League. No easy games. 16 of the best players in the world. $500,000 prize pool. You know, we saw a player like Tweez over in the Legend Conference. He started out strong. Struggled down the stretch. Drini started off 0-2, ended up getting the bye, so that's why I like this 10-game season. 
I know at the beginning it might not seem the stakes are high, but really you get the 12 best players in the playoff when you separate them in from the boys. Yeah, I agree. The, the 10 game season is a lot of fun. And even the earlier games are not as intense, but you know, you get some good matchups because it's 16 of the best players in the world, and every, every match is for the rack of room. Nobody's just trying to give up the free stack. D.D. Restbrook at the 32. Even right now for Stevie J, you get the win in this game, but you know, these games are about 40, 45 minutes long. This is $1,000 of 45 minutes of work. It's pretty good. Sign me up. And throws this one away. It's a little too slow. I'm still stuck on my point, though. I, I want them to get to the point where the rack of rue, the stack, the thousand, is on top of the council. <laughs> I want the I want the cash money right there on top of the council, and then you go and pick it up after you win the game. If league ops is listening, <laughs> which I'm sure they are. Hey, they're always listening. Second and ten. Those are the cooks. First down at the 19 now, so Blocky trying to answer. After spotting Stevie 10 points early. Trying to fight back here in the final minute of the first quarter. You see Blocky got his patented Miami Dolphins controller. Miami Dolphins organization themselves hooked him up with that when he won that club championship. These are two guys from Florida. Stevie from Clearwater. Blocky down there in Miami. The throw, a catch by Walker. Touchdown, Blocky. Dolphins controller right there, and Blocky getting some momentum. See how Stevie can respond on this next possession. So it's a three-point game now with 42 seconds left in the first. Still no idea how Stevie J quarters taking longer than a Kim Prodigy quarter because those are two guys that love to throw it and Blocky with a nice strike. Much of the chagrin of Stevie J. Yeah, Stevie visibly frustrated right there. Blocky, I, you don't get much out of him. Though we have seen some reaction shots from Blocky throughout the season. He, yeah. Not even he can hide, hide the intensity and frustration and excitement that goes with competitive Madden. There's the dive, oh. gets a block. Almost got it loose it, at the 47. It ain't it. I'm gonna run for 300 if you run that. There it's Stevie, he tells Blocky up at the stage, I'm gonna run for 300 yards if you stay in that defense. Well, he's got the most prolific rushing attack in the entire league. 191 yards a game, including a 300 plus outburst earlier in the season. I believe that was on Kiv. And these guys, uh, they have good lab partners and people to practice with. You got Stevie J and that EMB crew, Blocky with his top Madden guys, and some other lab partners. High-level Madden you'll see from these two. Yeah, he put up 355 rushing yards. That was Stevie J against Young Kiv early in the season. Prodigy 7, Kiv 7. And then we got 10 to 7 game between Blocky and Stevie J. Let's check in with Prodigy and Young Kiv at the start of the second quarter. And a 7-7 game. Last of the cross-divisional games here in the Eastern Conference, excuse me, the Elite Conference. Neither of these guys from the East, both on the West. Fontana, California for a prodigy. Young Kiv makes his home up in Seattle, Washington. Remember, all the way down at the five yard line, that's where Kiv was. He's got a second and goal. Hands it off, McKinnon. Fighting, still up. They'll mark him down at the three. Seen those animations of Madden where they, they roll on top of the defender. Yeah. He doesn't touch the ground. He landed on one of his own guys down there at the end. That was just near pro. 
Daquan Jones, who was hanging on for dear life. As he got Bo Jackson in the backfield off this near pro. It's a dual tight end package that gets Bo in the fullback spot. Watch Warfield. Covered up. Playmakers of though. The action was all going toward the right corner, and he playmakered Warfield, who was on a, a motion hitch to the inside. Diabolical. Yeah, great use of the playmaker mechanic right there from the Kiva. Like you said, just puts the receiver down in a hitch route. He sits there, and you flip that playmaker to the left. Hitch route redirects his route, breaks to the middle of the field to that left side. No one to be found watching. Watch Warfield, the red star, the B button. And then there's See that him. playmaker, sends him to the left. That was all on Prodigy, too. And you, you do that by just flicking that right stick in whatever direction you want to redirect the route side. Yeah, and it, it fooled Prodigy. Once Prodigy committed, taking his user to the right side of the screen, Kiv. Flick that stick to the left, touchdown. And the user defender, that, that's the guy you, you need to confuse when you're on offense. They, these user defenders cause more havoc than any other player on the field. They can make all types of plays. So once you can get them biting on things, it's really going to open stuff up for you, especially over that middle of the field. The Prodigy will get a first down on the left side side of your screen. we got a red zone action. Stevie J's down there again at the seven-yard line after the long run. And Herschel, 10 carries for 62 yards now and a touchdown. Herschel's tired, you see. Stevie J's play call screen, Herschel, orange fatigue color. Still will hand it off to the big fella. He'll rumble his way down to the half yard line. Bye, Herschel. Oh, Herschel, really tired. You know, it's the first half. I mean, this is a big play. Do you, do you think about burning the time out here? Yeah, no, it, Maybe it, get a fresh Herschel? It's definitely a possibility unless... Can't take him with you. Unless he's thinking QB sneak. Good blocky. Good play right here. Of course, he got fatigued on that long run. We were telling about you. Pitching it to the Let's outside. Go, touchdown. Camera work right there. Yeah. Almost Next fainted. level. Almost fainted with that one. We started off behind the quarterback, cut to the side view, and I like that side view on the goal line. Makes it easier to see that ball. If it breaks the plane the, or not. Yeah, do something it, stupid. Exactly. I like it there and on field goals. Here on kickoffs ain't bad either. Ten point game, Grant. <laughs> Sticky. Nope. Ooh, oh, baby. Smash stupid, right my there by Renfro. A pitch, the block by Walker to let Walker go in the end zone. Jim, look at Stevie J. Come on, baby. Let's go. Got a 10 point lead, 219 to go. Blocky's hey, hey, right. got to answer again. Flats to Henry. Oh, it's Gets by one. Can he get a block? Yes. Oh. Got hit by the shoelace anyway. This will come up to be the two-minute warning. Blocky has all three timeouts. You don't want to give CBJ the ball back. So here at the two-minute warning, it's double box style because we got Prodigy at the 10-yard line with a first and 10. No way he gets a first down here. I don't, I don't care. I don't care if I can see that orange line down there. <laughs> yeah, you You're not getting it. Never. Not getting it. I don't know how you get that first down without scoring a touchdown. Pretty, I've seen it before, though. Maybe you sneak, like, right there. Yeah, get on the one-inch line. On, Not going to happen. That guy's got to bring his index card out. Throws that one over the head of Richardson. It's going to bring up a third and ten. Big play here. Trail by a touchdown. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Bunch to the right. Watson. Back in the end zone. This time he animates. 
but knocked away by Collins. How big has Collins been thus far? He's got the pick six, big pass, touchdown breakup right there. And I love those breakup animations. Back when I was playing, you didn't have a lot of those catch knockout type animations. Once the receiver got his hands on the ball, you were, you were pretty much dead meat out there. That's the out of position, Landon Collins. Who's that left outside linebacker, but he's using them deep in that safety position to roam the middle of the field. He's made plays all over, though. And this is, I was going to say, Scott, Kiv has a big drive coming up there on the left. Blocky at the four first with 117 to go. We'll get you back over there, RG. Now, this is big, too. High formation. I'm with this right now. I, I like the red zone type action. Stretches it out. Can't get a block. Let me show you how blocky got down there, first of all. Good pass along the sideline. All the way down to the four. Now a second and goal. Stevie J uses second time out there. Stretch play incoming. No one. Nowhere to go. Jay burns a timeout. He, he wants to get this ball back. You know, I don't know about, you know, motioning your fullback there. Seems like you might want to bring a wide receiver across maybe to get some advantage heading that way. So let the full, fullback lead block do what he do. Yes, you're right. The receiver gives you an extra blocker is what you're saying. Yeah. Let's go. And right now the fullback's blocking nobody anyway. It's going to bring up a fourth and goal. Got to make this a one possession game. Third sack for Stevie J. On the left side, we're ticking down. Kiv's worked his way to the 15. Wow, and if Kiv can score the touchdown there, remember he gets the ball in half to go up two possessions and get the ball to receive the second half. He'd be in great position to get that win over Prodigy and Ty Skimbo to be on the top of that division in the hunt for that bye. So the field goal's up and it's good. It's a seven point game over there on the left. We got a second and 17 for Prodigy. Prodigy will use another timeout. Third and 21 now. Going backwards is Kiv. Knows he has the three. Can he get six? In the gun. Draws. Well, he runs Prodigy out of timeouts here before the half. And now he's going to kick a 43-yarder. And I think that's Bailey. Kick is up. And it is good. Doesn't have a strong leg, but good enough. This noble hoodie right there. But I, I want to sponsor Scott. <laughs> this guy's got all these this free gear they're running around with. Everyone's got a nice hoodie. I told you, we're, we're going to get the feed it going. Just give me time. Only if I get a nice hoodie. I got to get back to the home base. Get our feed it team going. What's that noble? You got jerseys, sweatshirts. Saw Echo Fox had joke all swagged out. Problem with his luminosity game. He's got that nice luminosity hat. And Henry almost split the defenders. Prodigy with no timeouts. Try to hurry up and run this ball again. It's like we're going to have a seven point game. I think Kiv uses a timeout there. He just wants to get the right personnel on the field. Knowing this is going to be the last play of the half. Black round, black round, black round, black a lot of guys close to the line. You get a block here. Hmm. I don't like all those guys so close to the line. It works there, and we head to the half. Kiv with a touchdown lead over Prodigy. And what do you know? We got 17-10 across the board. Stevie J with the lead over Blocky. Start of the third quarter here between Prodigy and Young Kiv. Kiv went down and kicked a field goal. 
there right before the half. Now he's going to have an opportunity right here and put on some more points. Can he separate himself? See Prodigy going to that 1 4 6 defense, getting out of that 3 3 5. Young Kiv 4 and 2 on the season, Prodigy 2 and 4. Big game for Prodigy as he's in the basement right now. One thing about this 1 4 6 defense that she prodigy in is he gets these pass rushers, these linebackers that are at, at so far outside. A lot of times they get one on one matchups with those tackles. And, you know, if you send in a three man rush, you can get your good pass rushing ends in a one on one situation. It's exactly where you want to be. Kib, nine for nine in the passing game. Third and five. Opening drive of the second half. Wentz, Warfield, he's 10 for 10. Yeah, when you watch Young Kip play, we, we said it once, we'll, I'll say it again. It's one of the most prolific passers you'll see in all of John Madden football. He rarely makes bad decisions. He's often making the correct read. And he's just got some of the best vision. And, and that's one of the things that's different about competitive Madden than the NFL is you can see through the eyes of God, both on offense and defense. The quarterback doesn't need to turn his head. You can see the entire field. So it helps you make better reads. And same things when you're lurking on defense. You can see what's in front of you. You can see what's behind you. It's part of what makes the user defender so powerful. These guys have eyes on the back of their heads. First and five, bottled up at the 41. There's Jones with the second sack of the day. That Daquan Jones, he's either offsides or he's in the backfield. Prodigy had another one coming loose. Could you imagine if Tom Brady could see that <laughs> he's playing quarterback and he, he doesn't got to turn his head to see the entire field. He just get all his receivers in the field that's right in front of him. Same with the defenders. Imagine them running around with eyes in the back of their head. They know who's coming behind them, what routes they're developing. It's one of the dis different aspects of competitive Madden than in real football. It's just part of the game. Oh, wide open. Playmaker's up, sets his feet, and has to throw it away. Rare missed read. Start paying Kip all the homage for finding his receivers. Look like that A PA post. Look at it right oh, there. Wow, just touchdown. butt naked. Throw me the rock. Give me something. Kip throws it away. Completed his first 10 passes. The back-to-back -back incompletions. That's it, Rip! Yeah, inside the five, all the way down to the three. Kip said, I missed the read on third down, no big deal. Let me go on fourth down, under pressure, bullet pass. Prodigy trying to click on, couldn't get over there with Wilson. And that's huge, because the Prodigy gets the stop there. He gets the ball back in a one-possession ball game instead now. The very Kip. least, it's going to be a 10-point lead. Exactly. Kip just gets to take his time here at the three-yard line, kill some clock, and try to run it into six. Hands it to Jackson. Bo, nowhere to go. Actually lost the yard. Second and goal. Kip, you're chasing this by, but you also could use that rack of rue. I mean, this is a stylish kid. He spent some money on his clothes. Says his favorite brands are the Fear of God, Gucci, I don't even want to try to pronounce this other one. That's like a pair of that's like a pair of socks for this guy. Swag on a hundred thousand trillion. Yeah, Kip's fashion game on point. And a cannon. Madden game's not bad either. He's in there. Madden game's not bad either. Coltrane. Fashion. Madden. Good set of lettuce. Kip's rocking. Oh, to be young again. The amount of money that he's been able to make at a young age. You know, this is a kid that was making well over five figures last year just playing Madden at the age of 19 years old. Let's get a quick game update. Guys, Stevie J been moving the ball effectively on the ground all game. Decided to go through the air for this one. Looked over at Blocky after this touchdown and said, I caught you sleeping. He's up 24-10 with just over two minutes left in the third quarter.
Appreciate it, Dave. 24 to 10 here as well. Stevie J reaction. Every now and then that Italian descent of Stevie J <laughs> comes across in his reactions. Forget about it. Gives you that look like he's ready to put the head out. <laughs> Javorowski. He's always Second. talking about his family Italian dinner, Scott. Oh, yeah. We've got to try to get invited to one of those one time. The Javorowski household. So his mom makes some bomb Italian sausage. Get Stevie sauce. J, head down to the Olive Garden. Don't talk to me about Olive Garden. <laughs> Enough. 24 to 10 in both of these games. Double box, why not? You might fall for that all you can eat breadstick and salad <laughs> stuff, not me. Oh, no! The Kimba! Another pick. Hey, we had the all you can eat salad on day one. We put that, we put that to a stop real quick. Let's go. I need it. I need it. Kale, that's where the Kale train developed. Yeah. Scott Kale. That was the uh, origination Genoa. of the Kale train. Our Gene Wall. Boy, Kim is just rocking and rolling right now. Over the left side of your screen. Blocky trying to get into this one. Let's go! Out of sack. Man. Scream at him! Look at Stevie J. Starting to crank up the screen machine. He's animated. He's you gotta have a touchdown over here on the right. I mean, you can't. If you're blocky, yes. You gotta, you know, and for Kim on the left, a, a field goal will be fine. Blocky started off the season on a four-game win streak in jeopardy of going on a three-game losing streak. Stevie J. Oh, McKinnon down. gets loose. Touchdown, Kim. Well, if you're a prodigy, welcome to the big leagues. It doesn't get any easier during this long schedule. You need to turn your season around and then we just throw young Kiv at you. Like, here, try to get through this. That's it's not easy. Blocky kicked the field goal. If I'm Stevie J, I'm burning the time out here. I'll go to church next Sunday. Please, just let me recover and I'll go to church next Sunday. <laughs> He's just praying. Instead of calling the timeout, he said a prayer. And he will recover. God will answers the old and the new. You will see me at the service. Stevie said he, he will be at church next Sunday after recovering that. Here we go. Flip round. Flip round. I expect to see you there, Stevie. You can't. Three, three, three. Take a look at the defensive adjustments here for Blocky. An 11 point game. Has all three timeouts. Needs some stops. See those zones. Trying to get off some blocks to get to the oh. edge, and there goes Herschel Walker. Oh my God! Bye, Felicia. Let's this one's go, over. Baby. Yeah, you're trying to show Blocky's defense. Stevie J says, "Let me show you Herschel Walker, who is just an absolute beast." And his ratings are ridiculous, Scott. That Herschel Walker item. We were looking at his stats. He's got 92 speed, 90 truck, 91 carry, 92 <laughs> stiff arm. What can he do? He runs a good route. He catches the ball when you need him to. Herschel Walker has been a phenom in this ultimate league. Look at Blocky! Blocky goes! Oh! Not going to get past Amos, though. But good stick work. Let's look at that replay one more time. Where do you see my pitch? I'm telling you, when you talk to the players, they said the most frustrating thing about that pitch is the blocking is so inconsistent and sets up different ways that you can't find the defense to consistently blow it up. And if you're a high-level Madden player, you want to be able to consistently blow things up. You look what the meta is, you find something that can stop it. But when you can't find something to consistently stop that one thing, it's a frustrating feeling. And it's what makes Stevie J so dangerous. That's what the Ying Yang twin said, right? I, don't, I buy all my rap albums at Walmart, so I don't get the full versions. But I think it was. Where do you see my pitch? No? <laughs> He's so out of line right now. Right. <laughs> You're going to get us canned. <laughs> First and goal at the two as we head to the fourth quarter. It's been fireworks for the Kimba. Stevie J's doing the same. These guys might be on a collision course. See a big time passing game against a big time running game. Last time those met. Stevie J set the all-time Ultimate League record for rushing at 355 yards. Wow. <laughs>
end of the third, 31 to 10. Kill with a big lead over Prodigy. Stevie J, 31 to 13. Start of the fourth quarter between Prodigy and Young Kiv. Prodigy's worked it all the way down to the two yard line. He's gonna have a first to goal from there. If you're Prodigy, this game, it's feeling like it's just getting completely out of hand, but keep in mind that point differential matters. You just gotta do all that you can to mitigate this, the, the damage right now that Kiv has caused to your season. We have seen crazier things in a 21-point comeback in the fourth quarter. Hands it off to Henry. Can't break the plane. Second and goal. We have seen wildness. We have seen bigger comebacks than the deficit both of our games are facing right now. But you need a whole lot of Madden magic to do so. And they'll punch it in. Now I gotta look at the math here. You don't wanna chase the points. That'll make it a 14 point game. Just two touchdowns, you know, and Kiv, he's a passer, so doesn't have a game where he can run out the clock very easily. And Blocky's down here at the five. I got more faith in Stevie J running out the clock than I do Kiv, just based on their game plans on the offensive side of the ball. Yeah, absolutely. Stevie J, I mean, his offense naturally is going to run out that clock. Kiv, more of a passer. The tackle, oh, fumble. Fumble, oh, go out of bounds it. at the five. I, didn't need it. I wanted it. I didn't need that. it. That's Kellen Winslow on the tackle. And <laughs> because we're an ultimate team, and yeah. some of these guys got out of position oh, items, or they, they play a position other than their natural position. So that's why you'll see a Kellen Winslow senior, the legend yeah. on defense. Greatest charger of all time. You got LT. Let's he played there. In my, in, in, you know, me growing up, what Damian called Junior Seau. Seau was the best player. Best beard that ever played there was Dan Fouts, hand down. Quarterback. Yeah, quarterback. Oh, Danny Fouts. I see many quarterbacks with the beard. It was a different time, my friend. He's going to kick another field goal, but, I mean, if you're blocky, Maybe in the back of your mind, you've, you've done some math. You're thinking about point differential. Well, if you lose this game, which it's not looking good for you, you're going to be tied with Ghost in the division at four and three. Yeah, point differential right now. You got a plus 25. And so that'll take you down to a 10 right now. That would have you actually completely tied with Ghost, who also has a point differential for 10. And I just fully went into the nerd cave. I saw Donnie Moore in there. <laughs> well, the, the thing for Blocky, though, that separates him is he's already beaten everybody in his division. So they'll Great all play point. again, but currently he holds the tiebreaker over, over those guys. Great point. Second and five of the 30. That was in the first half of the season. We still got this second half of the season. Oh, the, re the rematches are coming up. Deep in these eight, nine, and ten games for them. Coming down to the final weeks of the season. I like what Stevie does right there. He he usually uses that motion on the pitch. So when you see that slot receiver motion over, you think the pitch is coming. But sometimes he'll do that same motion on the dive just to throw you off. So there's no blatant tell as if he's running inside or outside. It's a very smart tactic by Stevie J. The motion doesn't do anything for him really on that dive play other than help disguise the pitch for when he runs it later on. And when you're playing competitive Madden, that's one thing you got to learn how to do. You got to make stuff look exactly the same because these guys are so smart and keen to your different tendencies. Whatever you can do to throw them off is going to be a big deal. Got a double box transition here as we looking over at Prodigy and Young Kim. Prodigy with the ball again, just trailing by two possessions here. You put a drive together. Julio 
to the 44. He said it's just hard for Kiff to kill clock. I was like, Prodigy just scored a little bit ago, and here he is with the ball already back. Not even two minutes run down off of this fourth quarter. Yeah, these next three minutes, if you're Prodigy, you got to show people you belong. These are your drives, these are your moments. I know you're just a rookie. Here we go. Michael Scott has made some noise in his rookie season. Running into the real deal right now, though, against Young Kim. So many players wish they could be in those shoes right now. But that's what's cool about competitive Madden and competitive gaming, Scott, is a guy like Prodigy, he was just watching this stuff online last year, watching the Madden Championship Series, watching Young Kiv make a run. And now here he is a year later, commit himself, set a goal to make this league, and there you are, sitting across from the guy that you were watching, making money, you get to compete against him. You know, I told the story earlier in the season about the guy that worked the front desk at our hotel that was like, yeah, I, could, I think I could beat those guys. <laughs> well, that, that's what everyone says. Oh. It's time for you to sign up. Kim's on a different level right now. Amos, you're not going to catch him. Yeah, after watching this, signing up and grinding <laughs> to get matched up against a guy like young Kim doesn't seem like sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> And we've all been humble. You know, the first time you think you're really good at Madden. And then you actually play somebody sure. that's really good at Madden and you realize, whoa. It's a different level. Got a lot to learn. I think any, anyone that plays competitively has gone through that experience. And until you've gone through that experience, you're most likely not a real deal Madden player. Get all over that. Well, we just know. I mean, you can say that about anything in life after this pick six. I mean, we get the opportunity to call these great games. And I've had the opportunity in my career to sit in and watch Al Michaels go to work live, you know, be in the be in the booth and just sort of observe. And you're like, I am so far away from <laughs> being that that you just got to, you know, you got to step back and. You, re you realize Be thankful where you're at. You, know? yeah, you realize there's levels. And it, but it'll inspire you sometimes sure. once you see w what the high level is and what the standard is. And, you know, you, you realize, okay, I can put in work to get there. And, you know, that's when you start setting goals for yourself, going through the motions, make things happen. And th that's what young Michael Scott, young prodigy did last year. He saw the Madden Championship. He said, you know what, I'm going to set a goal for myself next season where I'm going to throw my hat in the ring. I'm going to try to compete. I'm going to see what happens. And you know what, he, even if he doesn't win the Ultimate League, he still accomplished a big part of that goal, which is to just show that he can compete with the best and make it here to some of these live events. And that's something he should be very proud of. This goes for anything in life, especially Madden. You got two choices. You can either get bitter or get better. It's up to you. Yeah, I, I personally learned a lot about that kind of thing just from competitive Madden. As, you know, a, a young buck, not a huge fan of, you know, wasn't great in school, not a lot of motivation. And then this thing that you're passionate comes along and you realize, okay, I could put in a lot of hard work to get what I want, and then you realize, wait, that, that formula worked. It's, Kim shows you the formula for user lurking. You, you see that that formula worked, and you're like, wait a minute, I could apply this anywhere. Before you know it, you're setting all kinds of goals, accomplishing them. Watch this Collins, just rolls over and says, yep. And yeah, hopefully, I, I think, I don't think I could set the goal to ever have that much stick work anymore. These days are over. 38 to 17 as young Kiv begins to bend the knee. So Kiv will move on to five and two. Have the same record as Skimbo as they are on a, I'm telling you, they are on a collision course right now. Skiv, uh, young Kiv owns the tiebreaker with that big win at the beginning of the season up in Minnesota at the Super Bowl. That was so long ago. 
Here's a question for you. How out of line do you think we are? You know, you got to bend the knee, the old gods and the new, hold the door. And we are on Disney Channel every now and then. You think we're going to get bopped for some of these Thrones references? It's a good question. I mean, Thrones I like is a how deep show. I like how we ask, this, we ask these questions live. You're already, I mean, you were, you know, early on. I'm willing on. to deal with the repercussions. I'm just throwing it off. Hey, early in the season, you were remixing cartoon theme songs. I mean, oh gosh, I'm, I'm singing Stop. jingles for, for popular chewing gum. Have some fun. I don't know where the line is. Oh, we're playing video games. We're having some fun. And CBJ will kick it up, and it's good. And that's how that one will end. So two blowouts. We're close up until about halftime, and then Kiv able to explode 38 to 17, and Stevie J continuing to keep the hammer down. He finally stops a losing streak of three straight games. Maybe that will help him right the ship as he gets back into visual play. That's in for the cross division. And it's a final here in these two games. Let's go to Adrian Lawrence, who's standing by with Stevie J. Stevie J, congratulations on the win. It now puts you at three and four, just above the playoff cutoff line. How do you feel about that? Uh, feels good to finally get a win after three straight uh, really close losses. Um, some things just didn't go my way, but I mean, that's Madden. You just gotta, just gotta keep fighting and Eventually, maybe the Madden gods will bless you. Yes, and one of the Madden masterminds, Donnie Moore, just cued me in the fact that you are now number two in terms of rushing yards in the entire Ultimate League. So that means including players that have already played their full 10 games and you still have three games left. What do you have to say for yourself? I mean, why pass when you can run? I mean... <laughs> Um, I'm not as good as making reads as like Skimbo, Kiv, goes for them, but uh, I think I control the game well, and um, I have really good run stick, and I play good defense sometimes, and um, it just works out well for me. So I'm just happy to get back on, get back on the board with a W. And you definitely seem to be playing to your strengths. And in terms of your next three games ahead, looking at your competitors, what do you expect? <sighs> Nothing but dog fights. The three great players. Um, three belts between the three of them and another finals appearance from Kiv, it's going to be a fight. Absolutely, and I wish you the best of luck. All right, thank you. To you, 